so come come to the practical aspect of the pisa so pisa method is isosome uh, the electric uh, the um, aliasing of the primary principle is dependent on the aliasing effect of the degradation jet you focus on a um, view that is apical fourth chamber you get the degradation into focus and zoom it while zooming it you see that there is a hemispheric convergence zone is been created at the valve level degradation jet level and you measure the radius and when the hemispheric jet is cr created at which aliasing uh, velocity you decide it that is 35.9 so that will give you the degradation flow as we discussed degradation flow in ml per second is equal to 2 pi r square into aliasing velocity so degradation flow into aliasing velocity the degradation flow into aliasing velocity will give you uh, the uh, radius into aliasing velocity will give you the degradation flow degradation flow will be dependent on the then dependent on the radius of the aliasing uh, the radius of the convergence zone which you will be calculating if it is less than uh, hemisphere if it becomes more bulging like oval so most probably your r will increase and the regurgitation flow will increase so it will overestimate the regurgitation if the uh, velocity aliasing is reduced that is if the uh, aliasing is made, made more and more negative that is 35 40 50 and more than 50 then once again it will be overestimating the regurgitation flow so it is very important to determine the absolute aliasing velocity at which there is a pure hemisphere and also the hemisphere will should be like a sphere it should not be an oval structure like this if the oval structure will become or if it becomes a very flat structure flat structure will underestimate and oval structure will overestimate the regurgitation severity